Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to night two of this two day special event. So, ladies and gentlemen, as NXT TakeOver happened last night, we had a bit of fun. We had a prediction that is going to continue going forward into the show tonight. And like I said, last night was a good show. Not the best NXT has put on, but a damn good show nonetheless. And as the credits rolled on Cameron Cross winning the NXT Championship, it ended free to me too, to my mother. Always fun to know that she can always get one up on me, especially when she doesn't watch wrestling. But on top of that, news has come out that Cameron Cross has been hurt. He is getting an MI an MRI scan on his shoulder tomorrow night, and we're gonna see the damage. Now they think it could be broken, he could be out for a long time. Let's hope not. He has just won the title, so hopefully he'll be fine. So with that all being said, we're gonna continue watching SummerSlam. The current first matchup is an uh, MVP versus Apollo Crews for the US title. We're going to kick this off, watching it, and let's have some fun, shall we? So, let's do this. Oh, and also, the predictions. I always forget the predictions, I don't know why. So, my mother has gone for Apollo Crews, I have gone for MVP. Let's see who wins. So, we just had Apollo Crews versus MVP, and... I have to admit, the Thunderdome kind of looks okay. Um, it's only on the hard camera, which sucks. Um, but that's it, pretty much. Uh, now Bobby Lashley and Shelton Benjamin are trying to attack um, Apollo Crews. Doesn't work. But, as I said, we all going into this match. This night is going to be long. And yes, we do agree on a few matches. This is going to be fun, guys. So, let's carry on. So, SummerSlam officially begins, and we have got Sash uh, we have got Bailey versus Oscar for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Now, myself and my mother have both got Oscar to win this one. <sighs> Is this going to be good? Also, the opening package for SummerSlam. I think that was actually a really good one. And Pyro's back. Yes, love Pyro. So, let's watch this match and uh, hopefully Oscar wins. So, we've just had Bailey versus Oscar and Bailey wins. So, it's still 3-3. Free -free. Um, not particularly a, a good opening contest, to be honest. Uh, no, I'm not actually a fan of it, to be fair. Uh, now they're just being up Oscar to make sure that they, um, you know, we can, uh, Oscar for the match coming up with Sasha Bounds. Um, no, it would, I, I thought the match was decent, but not great. Um, but, you know, it was a, you know, it was the opener, Oscar Star wrestled twice tonight. If she beats Sasha Banks tonight, I'll be amazed. But I don't think she will do, to be honest. So, we'll see. But, not the best match between these two. I think their matches in NXT were a bit better. But this one was okay. I, I'm really now starting to hate Bailey's heel character. I think she needs to either turn heel or just loop, or just drop the gimmick and do something else because this gimmick is now getting old fast in my eyes and I'm just not a massive fan of it anymore. Um, so yeah, um, we'll carry on. We'll see what the next match is and hopefully it'll be better than the uh, opener. Don't like saying it, guys, but not the best opening contest. So we just have the Raw Tag Team Championship match. It's Angel, Gar uh, Angel Garza and Andrade versus the Street Profits. Uh, it's currently going on. Uh, to the predictions, we have got Andrade and Angel Garza for myself and the Street Profits for the mother. Ooh, this one's going to be fun. Hopefully, we uh, will see who wins. Hopefully, it's me. So we just had the Raw Tag Team Championship match, and there's a fucking... <laughs> Pikachu in the crowd, what the fuck? Anyway, uh, we just had the World Tag Team Championship match, and... It's 
it is not good for me, guys. So, on the, the night, so far, it's 2-0. Two 2-0 nothing. Two nothing to me. 2-0 uh, so far on the night. It's now for... What is it? One minute. Let me double check. Because I have so far only three... Yeah, two, four... Yeah, it's 4-3. I have not won a single match yet on this card. MVP match, I haven't won. First match, we didn't even get in this match. I have got to come back. It's 4-3. Holy crap. Now Angel Garza and Andrade is going to uh, break up. Yay. So, yeah. Uh, I think the next match might be Mandy versus Sonya. Or we'll just find out, guys. Let's have some fun. Right, I've just done some calculations. We are tied on three matches, me and my mum. We're tied on three matches. It's currently Mandy Rose versus Sonya Deville right now. If then I have Mandy Rose, mum has Sonya Deville. If I lose this match, there is no turning back for me. We are tied on three. We have one more match. But we're not tied on. And that's the Raw Women's Championship match. If I lose this match. This prediction. I am out. I, there is no turning back for me. Come on Sonya. Win, uh, come on Mandy. Win this match. Nice qualifying by it by the way. Anyway we'll see who wins. I am fucking back in it guys. 4-4, so, so Mandy Rose defeated Sonya Deville. And I hate to say this. Whoops. My controller just went down. I am sorry. This was... This was not good. I hate to say it, but this was awful. From both girls. Um... Not the best match it could be, but it was okay for what it was. But again, um, this one was a foregone conclusion, unfortunately. We knew that uh, Sonya would be leaving WWE, which sucks. But um, whether the thing that happens, I hope she's okay. Also, uh, this is now officially Renee Young's last... What the fuck are you doing in, that, in the ring, you fat bastard? I know I can't talk, but still, why the fuck is Otis in the ring? Why? Oh, because of WrestleMania. Okay, fair enough. Kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, what was I on the tangent? Oh, yes. Um, this is now Renee Young's official last night on WWE TV. So she's gone. Well, thank you, Renee, for everything you've done. And congratulations to Mandy Rose for winning what was a... <sighs> Worm. Can we just end this match now, please? For the love of fuck, can we just end it? I mean, it was a good attempt, but she was going backwards instead of forwards. Let's just finish this match. Uh, next up is probably going to be either the Raw Women's Championship match or Mysterio versus Dominic. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Rollins versus Dominic. Let's just see this match through, guys. So, yeah, it's Dominic Mysterio versus uh, Seth Rollins. Myself and my mother both have Dominic Mysterio for this match. It's coming down to the Raw Women's Championship match. <sighs> Who's going to win? We'll find out. So, we just had Seth Rollins versus Dominic Mysterio, and... Fuck, I should have gone for Mr. I should have gone for Rollins. I really should have gone for Rollins on this one. Oh, I'm so pissed off. But yeah. I didn't go for Rollins, I went with Dominic. It was a good match. Um not much of a street fight in a way, but it worked for what it was. It was a decent match. Dominic had some good offense and some good defense in there. Was he as good as Pat McAfee last night? Not particularly, but he was good. He wasn't good. So, yeah, that is officially now, it is, on night one, it was 3-2.
it's currently 2-1. Sasha has to win for us to tie. I am not looking forward to this. <laughs> Let's. I think it might be Braun versus Fiend next, but we'll find out. So we just had Oscar versus Sasha Banks, and Oscar's the new Raw Women's Champion. So that means it's three one. I can't come back, which means overall it's five four to Mum. So Mum wins the predictions. That sucks. But, it's still 1-1. One, one. If we're going off the predictions, then yeah. But, I believe Backlash is this Sunday. I also believe we need a tiebreaker. I'm going to try my best. To get a tiebreaker. So... We'll watch Braun versus The Fiend, and then we'll watch Drew versus Orton, and we will go to... You know what? Screw it. I said on the predictions that I would officially go with Orton. I have got a call to lose now, guys. So I'm changing my prediction, official prediction, for Orton versus Drew to Drew. I'm changing it to Drew. Don't really care. I've I've lost them. I've lost anyway. If I win the match with Orton and Drew, we still tie five five overall, guys. So, you know, whatever. But Mum wins the Mum wins the night, the SummerSlam night, because it's three one. And if I do win against, you know, if I somehow win it with Drew, then it'll be three two. So she still wins. But it'll be overall five five. Hopefully we can get a tiebreaker, but we'll still have a tiebreaker on payback. So let's have some fun and let's just carry on watching the show. So like I say, fuck it. I'm picking. I'm picking Drew to retain the title. So let's have some fun. Okay, do apologize, guys. Uh, Autumn versus Drew is happening now, and the main event will be Fiend versus Braun. Okay, fair enough. Well, with that all being said, I'm gonna go get something to eat because I'm starving. So catch you in a minute. I'm happy I changed my prediction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, okay, fair enough. It's cheating. Fuck it, I don't care. I shat the fucking bed with SummerSlam. I don't care. I really did, guys. I got one match right, which was the Mandy Rose Sonya Deville fight, which was a foregone conclusion. Mum got three, I got two for that. Overall, is five. Five. We need a tiebreaker, so we might as well do the tiebreaker at payback next week. So, we've got the main event coming up now, which is Braun versus The Fiend in a last man standing match. This will be the cinematic match. And, to be honest, I think SmackDown has been... Uh, SummerSlam's been good. It's not been... Oh, Corey Graves, just randomly in the crowd. Um... Smart, uh, SummerSlam's been good. It's not been the best SummerSlam at all. Nowhere near the top 10. But this has been a damn good SummerSlam, I think, overall. Couple of good matches. The dominate Rey Mysterio, uh, dominate Seth Rollins match was good. Worst match of the night has, has got to be Mandy Rose versus Sonya Deville. I'm sorry, but that was just awful on their part. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, Bailey versus Oscar was okay. Open uh, opening of the night. Uh, Sasha versus Oscar was decent. Uh, for the length it had. Apollo Crews versus MVP. Yeah, that could have been on the main card. I think personally. Street Profits versus Andrade uh, and Angel Garza. Another good match. And you know this match, Drew versus Orton. Yeah, good match. We may get this at payback. We don't know yet. So we are gonna go and watch Braun versus The Fiend. And we both have the fiend on this one, so we are gonna. I well, we both have the fiend on this one, so hopefully it will be six six at the end of the predictions. But we will find out, and hopefully we will have some fun watching the show. So guys, let's watch the main event. Uh, so we've just found out Keith Lee is debuting on Raw tomorrow night. 
Holy shit, I can't wait for that. That will be fucking sick. So that's why he lost the NXT Championship. Okay, fair enough. That was good. You know, that's a great way to debut him. I mean, on Monday Night Raw. Fuck yeah. So, guys, again, we'll watch the main event, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's have fun. Okay, so we've got the promo going for Braun versus um, Fiend. And I kind of have to admit, but I kind of like the way that they used the letter in the Extreme Rules match. The um, Swamp. Uh, the Wyatt Swamp fight, using it as a distraction for the Fiend to try and get the upper hand. I liked that. I thought that was good. I thought she would turn into Alexa Bliss in the paper in the show uh, on the Extreme Rules, but she didn't. Uh, it was a figment of Braun's imagination, which I thought was actually kind of cool, to be fair. Um, the way that they've been using Alexa in this feud, though, um, she gets mandible clawed by the Fiend, slaps Braun about eight times, and then basically gets press slammed, you know, Kind of thing, which is actually kind of okay in a weird way of doing it because now it pisses off Braun enough to be like, I don't care about Alexa, I just want to kill you. So it actually kind of makes sense. I think that's a really good idea. Um, are we going to see a cinematic match? It's the main event, so maybe. I kind of hope not. And also, Braun Eggman, he's shaped his head bald. Um, but yeah, you know, I think it's been really good. Uh, the, the the history between Braun and Alexa has really put this into perspective of this is a good way to do this in in a way. So I've actually kind of enjoyed it, but I really do hope Alexa doesn't get involved in this and is officially turned into um sister abigail because i just don't think it'll work out i mean maybe but you never know anyway so let's watch the main event and uh have some fun with this one so we just had fiend versus uh Braun Strowman, and i actually can't believe i'm about to say this but if any match were to have a cinematic match this would be the one this was not good. Especially for Braun and Bray. This match, this false count anywhere match was... The fuck? What? 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 Wait, what? What? Roman... Roman Reigns is back. He just took out The Fiend and he's just took out Braun. Okay? Okay, uh, give us a minute. So, we've we had Roman Reigns' return. I'll admit it, I did not see this one coming. Was it good? Okay, yeah. I mean, it was a good way to end the show. So, yeah, this this was good. Uh, so, yeah, if it wasn't for the Drew McIntyre-Randy Orton match, uh, it would have... Uh, I would have uh, completely fucked up. <laughs> I think this is one of the worst predictions I've ever done, guys. So we will do a uh, payback next Sunday. So I hope you all will be joining me for that one. Thank you, as always. And as always, stay safe, wear a mask, wash your hands, smile more. Catch you later, guys.